Ask Reddit by just a 76 GRL. Martin Luther King, Jr. said, If you can't fly then run. If you can't run then walk. If you can't walk then crawl. But whatever you do you have to keep moving forward. What are your life examples of this? After my mom died, I set a single goal to do something productive each day. For a while it was getting out of bed. Then it was brushing my hair. Then it was cooking something to eat. As each little thing graduated from my thing for the day to just have it, I would add a new thing. It took a while to be functional again. It really did feel like I was crawling when everyone else was running. This is a real tactic and works well. I always tell myself I have to do two things every day. Depending on the day, it could be just getting out of bed and feeding myself. On better days, it's getting some work done and doing dishes. Just committing to two things sounds simple, so it helps keep me to it. And sorry about your mom. I hope you're doing okay and continuing to graduate and doing the things. Exercise. A couple months ago I was crawling. Now I'm walking. Doubt I'll ever be flying, but at least I'm stronger than I was. That is awesome not gonna lie I was pretty sedentary in high school around 18 I started riding my bicycle every day and after about a year I was riding about a 100 miles a week. This is going to sound stupid to most who haven't been through it but my ex, husband of 17 years cheated on me with my best friend. It's also cliche. We had two preteen boys that he didn't want anything to do with. Somehow I kicked him out of the house didn't accept his fake apologies. And then watched my run turn into a walk, then a crawl. I dragged us through every day. It happened the last two weeks of school and I still went to their end of the year award programs and smiled even though neighbors were whispering and I hosted birthday parties minus a parent and I taught one to drive. I am not completely sure how I was strong enough but I brought us all forward in those dark days. I wasn't going to let this affect them. And now, even with their dad living 3 miles away with his new family and acting like they don't exist, I crawl, with them on my back. Edit, I really appreciate all the kindness. It's comforting to hear the positive thoughts as it's often so isolating. I can't believe I received so many comments. I plan to read and respond to all. Oh and the awards. Wow. Never got one of those before. You did the right thing. Your neighbors had no right to judge you. My wife died June 2015. I lost my job the same moment she passed because I was her in-home caretaker for 3 years because she was in a persistent vegetative state. I got addicted to methamphetamines again after 22 years of sobriety. My service dog of 10 years died. I survived an attempted murder from two people with rebar and wound up with brain damage and a broken neck. I got evicted because I couldn't afford any more to live in our town home. I walked away from 30 years of memories because I had nowhere to store anything. I spent two and a half years homeless living on the streets and in shelters, and the majority of everything that happens to me happened in six months. I finally got on social security for schizoaffective disorder that I got from using drugs after my wife died, and I finally got a home again back in September. The point is I got through it all because I kept moving foe. Holy shit, I can't even imagine going through what you did. Kudos for sticking it through. Do you have a new service dog? My career. I feel like I'm flying now but holy smokes did I start off as a slow crawl though. Edit, I work at an ick company for everyone asking. What was your career in? This is extremely minor, but I completed a 5k. I'm not a runner. In fact I hate running. I have short legs and small feet. I'm slow and overweight. I did train, albeit not much. I started the race by running until I was out of breath. One stroke two mile in. Then it was intermittent walking and running until the end. I was the second to last person to finish, but I didn't care. It was one of the best highs I've ever had. It felt good to accomplish something I always told myself I would do someday, but never worked up the courage to try. I was proud of myself. Edit, wow. So, up, RIP inbox. 
Thank you all for the comments, votes, and awards. This is pretty neat. I love this. Good for you. Keep after it. I rode my bike across the US. Most of it solo. In the middle of Missouri, I just had enough. I stopped on some guy's lawn and just cried. He came out and asked me what was up and I explained how far I'd come. Started in San Francisco, and that I was just done. He told me to ride into town, I think Springfield, which was only 10 miles away and take a few days off and rest. Which is what I did, because hey, one more day wouldn't matter, and the worst that would happen is that I'd pack it in and go home. Well, a day of rest seemed to be exactly what I needed. I spent a whole day, or most of it, anyway, in blessed air conditioning, ate all the food, drank all the water, and was more or less ready to go again. I took a few more one day breaks between Missouri and Williamsburg, VA which really helped me out. So yeah, one step back, two steps forward. That guy was a blessing. A while back I was trying to make a nap, learning from scratch it was hard to find time around work, friends, girlfriend etc but I had the mantra of if I've only got 10 minutes then do 10 minutes. The actual 10 minutes didn't achieve much but it kept it in my mind and when I had a spare couple of hours, I was in the mindset to do that couple of hours and over the months my project gradually grew and grew. Eventually I got out of the habit and the app got less and less attention so it never got finished. I'm furloughed right now, maybe it's a good time to get crawling again. Might I ask what is the app that you were making? The first thing that came to mind was getting sober from drugs and alcohol. This process describes perfectly what I went through. Excellent quote. Being sober sucks for a while. Then your brain rewires to find the joy in life sober. Best decision I made in a long time. Hope your recovery is going well. When I was quickly dipping into depression again about my relationship with my dad. It was shitty, it was slow to recover, it was painful but I didn't go back without going forward afterwards. I feel your pain bro. My relationship with both parents for the past 10 years has been tenuous at best, and only gotten worse since 2016. Looking back on the whole relationship, most of what I remember is him trying to bully me into a choosing what they wanted me to do. Instead of making a choice for myself, every once in a while they reaffirms why I don't want a whole lot to do with them. It doesn't get any easier, but it does get less hard to endure. I don't know if this has been said before in this post, but there's a phrase that I constantly think of whenever I feel like I can't move forward. An arrow has to go back in order to move forward. Granted. I know this in Spanish and can't remember where I read it, but for whoever needs to read this. It's okay to step back and see where you're at in order to know what you want to aim at. Stay strong fellow Redditors. That's a really good quote. I'll definitely remember it. Thanks bud. Deleted. I am 100% with you here. We rock for schooling life while suffering on the down low depression. Somehow, I keep right on. Enduring. https colon slash slash www.reddit.com slash r slash cedar wolf slash comments slash j2vk2p slash endure underscore how underscore to underscore survive underscore suicide underscore and underscore depression slash closed bracket comma and it's how I survive depression and suicidal ideation every year. See the what you wrote in that link to the post was fucking amazing. Thank you for sharing it. Might it up a bit near one point. Deleted. Fun fact, Latin word order is relatively free. So either works. When I'm feeling really down, or having a blood sugar episode where I can barely get of bed and walk far enough to the bathroom I start saying hello. My name is Inigo Montoya, you have killed my father. Prepare to die. Legend. 
when my heavy wheelchair broke down right before my final architecture school assignment, I asked random strangers to take the freshly printed floor plans to the right classroom. Everyone was running to get their own stuff delivered in time, so I asked people to push me for 10m or so. The third guy pushed me all the way through, and the plans got delivered in time. Thank you, kind strangers. I would hope your profs would have been understanding had you handed in your assignment late. Drawing. After losing everything I ever drew in my life due to a crappy moving company, I was devastated and didn't draw for a few years. Eventually got a whiteboard and said, I'll just do a stupid little doodle once a week. Then it became once a day. They got more elaborate. Then 5 days ago I picked up a sketchbook and pencil for the first time in years and said, just 10 minutes. A couple of days a week. I've ended up getting lost in it for a couple of hours already, and I can't describe the feeling of joy when I looked at the completed outline and thought, holy shit, it actually looks like the thing I'm drawing. I have barely begun shading but I'm so excited to continue it tomorrow. I was deep in depression for most of a year. No job, no friends, heartbroken. I had a roof over my head thanks to my parents, but nothing else besides. I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life and no resources to pursue it if I did. Something like finishing college or traveling the world or pursuing my artistic dreams or having a loving relationship was completely beyond my grasp. But one day I messaged an acquaintance. Actually, an ex-girlfriend of a guy I knew. And I asked if she wanted to hang out. Eventually that became a relationship, we got married, I started publishing books, we lived in Europe for a while, etc. None of that was possible from the place I started in. But I dug myself out one small victory at a time. Life keeps changing. I'm divorced but in a much healthier and happier relationship, living far from where I'd ever been. I found another fulfilling career and lots of good friends. And I'll never fall into the place I was again because I have memory of my own success. Once you can recall confidence, you can always use that as the first step to anything else. How did you just move far away? I've been thinking about doing it, and your first paragraph describes my situation pretty good right now. How would I choose where to go? What do I do when I get there? I'm so lost where I am now, but I don't it to be worse somewhere else. Although sad on a beach is better than sad in the cold. When I left my abusive ex-husband. Immediately before, he had maxed out my credit cards and spent all of the savings earlier. He prevented me from finishing my BS and from working. I had to toddlers and friends who were kind enough to share time watching the babies so I could work enough to get by. He stalked me and harassed me with threats daily. I also broke a tooth in half, stress grinding, and was hospitalized for a week for what should have been a minor illness. There were at least 5 times I could have easily died that year. I did some work from home and paid off enough of my credit line to charge tuition to it. I honestly thought it would kill me, but I finished a degree and kept my babies alive while well under the poverty line with only some help from friends. Just enough child care to cover, sometimes not enough and I'd have to call in. It felt impossible. The only thing that got me through was telling myself that I could because I was already doing it, so I could keep on doing it in the belief that eventually it would be better. We got through. I got a degree and a decent job, the kids are well. I bought a house. We've come so far in just a few years. It's amazing, really. Overcoming sex addiction. It caused the end of my relationship and all I can do is keep pushing forward. If I stop the momentum I will be stuck at square one in the pit of despair. I will be better every day from here on. I'm glad you are getting better. You got this. Just out of curiosity and with all due respect, if you don't mind me asking, what does the addiction feel like? I imagine it's different from what people actually think of it. Feel free to answer only if you feel comfortable, of course. Higher education. If I can't get an A, get a B if I can't finish a paper at least write 3 stroke 4 of it really well. And if I feel like giving up just do one sentence at a time. 
So far it's worked. I have one semester left for my bachelor's then it's Harvard. Holy shit congratulations. I'm finishing up my bachelor's too, we'll get there together. Although I'm not going to Harvard lol fuck that but I hope you do really well and feel happy there. The one time I went to a SAR support group at the hospital following my overdose which was a reaction to being raped, the therapist told me this exact quote. I was 18 and not one part of me wanted to be alive, and those few weeks were the hardest of my life. But those words stuck with me I didn't really get out of bed much once home but after a few days I kept thinking about this and remember quite literally rolling out of bed and basically crawling to the bathroom to shower for the first time in a while. A very literal example but I think of this quote a lot when times are tough sometimes you really just have to endure and crawl until you can continue on your path walking. Wife recently passed away, and I know no matter how much I struggle. I need to keep moving forward. OMG, dude, I am so, so sorry to hear that. Me and my wife split two years ago and everything has been a shit show since then. To say I had a hard time with it would be a huge understatement. And even though I can't fully know your pain, I can relate to similar feelings. My heart goes out to you. I wish you the best, feel free to PM me if you would like. I'm always available to talk. Sometimes it's just the dishes. Gotta just roll up your sleeves and do it, even if you're tired and just want to watch Netflix and become one with the couch. I did 6 push-ups today. Tomorrow 7. Pulling myself out of a mental health situation, hearing voices. I had full on conversations every waking moment for about a year then one day I woke up and said screw this. This isn't normal got serious about fixing it and I did it. Good job, that's nothing to overcome, I'm so proud of you. Learning to play guitar. Wildly discouraging at first with many opportunities to quit for somebody that has never picked up an instrument besides the elementary school recorder. I was once a fully non-functional alcoholic. In and out of jail, losing jobs, almost died, the whole night.